Mark Zuckerberg, which is officially the freshest CEO in the entire Silicon Valley, just released its latest model, the biggest open source model. It's called Llama. And Llama 3.1 is said to be better than OpenAI, is said to be better than Chat GPT. Is it really as good as Chat GPT? Let's find out. I'm gonna do five tests comparing Chat GPT with the strongest Llama. Look, I don't trust any benchmark, so if Chat GPT actually loses to Llama, I will dress up like a llama in the wildfire of the streets of Tel Aviv. How do you actually know which one's better? So the first way of knowing is listening to the company itself. That makes it looks like llama is just as good as GPT-4. So the blue one is llama being better than ChatGPT, right? The tie, which is more than 50%, three times, makes you think that, hey, it's just as good, right? And then this one is just a tiny loss versus ChatGPT. So the only way to actually know is to vibe with it. Turns out that some people thought about something. Hey, if we create a leaderboard where people do some blind tests and they're like model A or model B, which one's better? Then you can create a leaderboard. It's a great idea. This is the leaderboard everyone uses. It's LMSYS. I want to show you how it works. Model A versus model B. So let's type like a simple prompt, like write an article and you'll see what's going on. Boom, interesting. As you can see, those two answers are completely different. Model A wants his own life. <laughs> it's like a sentient AI. I wouldn't say the topic is bad. I wouldn't say the article itself is bad, but the problem is imagine if you go to a copywriter, imagine if you go to someone who writes articles and you ask, write an article. The guy's gonna be like, hmm, hmm. What do you mean by that? If you write an article right away, you're probably a bad writer. Well, it's the same with AI. If AI is not able, doesn't have this level of intelligence to understand that if it's write an article, I probably need more information. But if it's write an article about, and then it's like a very precise topic, obviously you can write it. This model says, first answer those five questions. I would definitely say model B is better. And model A is Gemini test and model B is Gemini 1.5, which is a newer version. Sometimes humans just don't agree. I I am the one who thought that having the question on the right and no question on the left, the question were just much better for me. It's just much better prompt engineering. Maybe you out there behind your screen, you would have selected model A. So it turns out that the only way to actually know which one is best is to vibe with it. You know, you need to, mm, you need to feel like it. Like you need to go on the dance floor and do some like, hmm. So let's do some vibing. Let's do five side-by-side -side tests to know which one is best. GPT 4.0 on the left and on the right. It is the latest llama. So this one, if you see 405B and you don't understand it, well, you have 8B, it's billion parameters. It's, so it's not so much, so it's faster, but dumber. Then you have 70B, which is 70 billion. And then this is like the chunky one. This is our beast, our Hulk, the one that he's going to decide if we're actually going to dress up as a llama. So, all right, let's go. Let's do it. We're going to start with, I think, writing an article for my SaaS. So I have a SaaS called EasyGen. It writes people's LinkedIn posts. And I want to write blogs about it, not just about EasyGen, but about growing on LinkedIn. I made a quick prompt on an AI that is an SEO expert and helps him write an article about posting on LinkedIn. Like, what should be the best frequency? And I want to tell people it's every day, not more because then it's harmful, but not less because then you have less data. And actually the most important part is having enough data. So let's see what the OG GPT-40 has to say about that. Okay, that's the thing I was looking for. Like I wanted to have tips at the end on SEO on my prompt. I said, remember that I'm an SEO novice to so help me reach more people. So I wanted to have some tips about growing your SEO. Please making sure that I understand that I should really do what the AI has said. So, okay, we have a big title. We have a very chunky first paragraph that sounds very much AI. So there is a high chance that I'm gonna do follow-up prompts, which means that I'm gonna make another prompt here so that I have a better generation. And whenever I'm making a follow-up prompt, I'm gonna do the same on Llama. So this is pretty good. We have like, okay, we have a list. We have some H1, big heading, H2, which is a smaller heading. And then we have a second one here. It's pretty common. The only problem being, I don't have any information on how to do a good job about SEO. Hopefully, our little guy is doing better. Look at this title. Look at the first three words. I would stop on an article that says the daily grind, but still 
Llama for the win. I mean, look at this. Look at the beginning of the answer. Meta description, header tags. Yes, that's what you do with a good SEO articles. Already, like it feels like an SEO article, you know? It made some keywords density, some image suggestions, internal linking, call to action. Yes, that's the kind of stuff I was looking for. If I would ask for some suggestions on what I should do better with my SEO, ChatGPT would be able to do it, but then that's the second prompt. This guy actually followed what I asked better. Right from the bat, meta description, header tags, and a lot of different stuff. This one is a much longer article, so that would probably have more results, but I feel like this guy already has a much better soil because it'll be like, that was good, just make it better. So let's do two different prompts, which goes against from what I've said before. Wow, this is not good. I gave you another shot and you just said the exact same thing. Where are the suggestions for my SEO? I could do a very bad benchmark and just say like, hey, write an article and write an article. And then I would just like, in French, we say with a wet finger, be like, yeah, this one's better or this one's better. Turns out that if you're actually looking to grow your SEO for your website, you need more than that. You need some follow-up prompts. That's how you can nudge the moral into the right direction. I see morals as like an assistant, as someone who's next to you, who's not doing a perfect job, but if you ask the things right, and if you can nudge it to the right direction after that, then you're doing it right. So the best kind of models are the ones that are actual assistants. I would give Llama a win just because ChatGPT didn't listen to me. Actually, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter complaining about that, where you just ask for something else and ChatGPT just repeat what it just says. So Llama, that's your win right here. Test number two. This time I want to write a TikTok script. I write some pretty good news on threads and I wanted to know if I can turn those posts into an actual AI news, kind of like, you know, 916 TikTok video. It needs to be catchy, it needs to be fast, but it needs to convey still the information that I have. Now, I want to know if I'm giving it this exact text and I'm asking the LLM, like ChatGPT or Llama, write a TikTok script for it, how good it's gonna be. We're gonna compare the hook, we're gonna compare like the flow of it, all right, let's go, let's do it. So I made a quick prompt where I ask you're a TikTok expert and I want you to cover an AI news by writing my script on my TikTok video. And then I just copy and pasted the news that I covered on threads. Oh my God. <laughs> Seriously, it started with, hey, TikTok fam. And why do you have emojis? It's a script. It's terrible, it's just, just terrible. I specifically asked for a script. It needs to sound like a script. Which part of script was not understandable? Lama, please don't fail me. Wow, already. Still hey TikTok fam. Where did you get that information? Wh where in your training data set? It says, start your TikTok video with hey TikTok fam. Hey TikTok fam. Ugh. But at least, at very least, for now, Lama is better because no emojis. Why would you need emojis? It's a script. And Lama said how it should be filmed. Upbeat background music, animated text, whatever. Maybe it's not perfect, but at least it understood that it's a script. So I'm gonna just say something like, it does not sound like a TikTok video and the hook is terrible. Wow. I say it's really bad and the hook is terrible. So rewrite it completely. And he went from, Hey TikTok fam to hey TikTok? What is ChatGPT doing? That's bad, that's terrible. Please Lama, do something better. That's, that, that's a gazillion times better. That is, yes, yes Lama, you're doing it. Look at this hook, look at how good it is. You know that everything is about this first sentence. So you have a 2D image and you can make it live. First introduction is, hey TikTok, want to see your photos come to life? I can already tell that the fact that you have emojis on the left and nothing to help me like actually record it. And this one had something to help me record and a much better hook. This is just much better. Let's do it. I think we got it. We got our winner and this is Llama. Test number three. I want to test how creative and innovative they can be. So I want to build a hardware for Ghostwriter on LinkedIn. I have no idea what hardware do I need, especially for my profession, what I'm doing. So here I'm gonna specifically say, build something that doesn't exist that will help the future of Ghostwriter on LinkedIn. All right, you are a creative product designer. I want you to build a futuristic hardware product for Ghostwriter on LinkedIn. It needs to be something that does not exist. Explain in great details what it is, how it works, and why it matters. Now it's the third test and ChatGPT failed for the first two ones, so you better be doing something. We have LumaScript 3000, 
It's an advanced AI powered hardware product designed for Ghost Rider on LinkedIn. I didn't understand anything that it does. So this is not good enough. It could have been an app. I want you to focus on the hardware aspect. Okay. Holoquill for ChatGPT is a fountain pen that is elegant. Okay, already it's a pen, so it's pretty good. But why a pen would do holographic projection base? What are you doing? Why do I need holograms with a pen? Okay, so it's the same thing, but this time it's a pen, but it does exactly the same stuff. Like both of them are doing the same stuff because maybe like they're too they're too focused on the ghostwriting aspect and the writing aspect. Okay, I'm gonna try one last prompt, one last follow-up prompt. Now we're talking for ChatGPT in this crib. It's something that addresses the fact that you need a seamless, distraction-free environment when you want to write. That's true. It's a wearable. It's something you can talk to and it can detect your finger movements, so you can write like this. But why would I do finger movements? If I could just think, can I stop selecting Llama as the winner like once and for all? Because it's the third time and I kind of want to give it again because I like the name. One on the left is Inviscribe, which I guess it's like innovation, invention. And the one from Llama is Flow State. Sorry, guys, but Llama is winning. I mean, come on. It's just it is clearly winning and we still have two more tests. Technically, Lama just won the first three ones. Test number four, mathematics for anyone who has trauma. PTSD from mathematics, this is your time. But for that, I need another AI to help me out. Let's do some mathematics. And we're gonna try with one of the hardest questions you can ask anyone. Is 9.11 greater or smaller than 9.9? .9? Uh huh. Uh huh. What? And it's supposed to do mathematics? And I like the fact that he explained you. Like, you know, 9.1 from 9.11 is less than 9.1 making 9.9 .9 greater than 9.11. What in the large language models is that? Okay, this one is great. So yes, 9.9 .9 is greater than 9.11. Good job, GPT. You get it right, this is mathematics. And Lama is like, you know what, man? Nah, it's not greater. Okay, so here, chat GPT wins. Let's just make it simple. Maybe you can have much harder like questions about mathematics. It is also very much known that the better models are at mathematics, the smarter they are, like quite literally. All right, let's do the fifth and final test. Chat GPT versus Lama, and this time it is for creative brief for my thumbnail designer. The more you say, the more he's gonna try to fit it. So if I say using my AI called EasyGen, he's gonna try to put EasyGen somewhere. Three, two, one, let's try. I feel like ChatGPT is winning this one, most definitely. Because of how it's structured, could I copy this and send it to my designer? Most probably, oh, but then Llama is like, kind of like picking up the pace at the end. Wow, they both did a pretty good job, I have to say. If you check, this is ChatGPT on the left. You see GPT-4.0. I like the beginning. You have project titles, client, dates, objective. I guess this is this. And then key elements, sure. Here you have target audience, which is something that was not covered by Llama. There is nowhere it is covered. Nope. And target audience is an important part of a brief because everyone has a very different way of consuming content. So yeah, I feel like ChatGPT is winning this one. So ChatGPT won on the creative brief. ChatGPT won on mathematics, good, but I was so surprised. Llama did a really good job. I was impressed by the fact that it was better at writing and specifically better at understanding what I need. If Llama didn't do a perfect job on the first go, then it could actually iterate on what I had to say, the follow-up prompt. And as I said, the best LLMs are the one who are actually good assistants, meaning that not only he's good at doing what you need, but he's also very good at iterating on what you need. Meaning like, if you nudge it into a direction, you're like, hey, that's okay. You didn't do a perfect job, but can you just go a little bit into that direction and a little bit less into that direction so we can have a perfect result? So overall, yes, sometimes it's a tie or it's a slight edge for OpenAI, but most of the time, it's definitely Llama. Now that this is said, I gotta do what the boys wanted me to do from the very beginning. Um, I lost a challenge, so we're gonna buy and somehow find a llama costume and then I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna be so happy about it, right? <laughs> you have a llama costume. You know llama the animal? Yes. Okay. Okay, maybe this one has some stuff. 
I'm looking for something very specific. It's a llama costume. Even a small horse could be fine. <laughs> That's all we have, I think. Okay. Let's keep searching. Let's search like for another one right here. And if we can't find it, like a horse is enough. Well, we couldn't find a llama costume. So I guess, I guess I'm good. I guess I'm good, the llama costume. I don't, don't need to do anything. I don't think so, I don't think so. Nah, I think so. <laughs> Yo, Ruben, guess what I found? No way! <laughs> <laughs>